Hey guys, Rudy Reiner here with this week's review review. A lot of people have been asking me to do some more reviews, so I'm on it now, you know, trying to get back into the swing of things. First up, we're going to look at this guy named Awesome Vid Maker. He's kind of a new guy on the scene. Let's see how he does. <laughs> First of all, what's wrong with this intro? I think we all know what a good intro looks like. This is my Wii collection. It's pretty big. That's what she said. Mm, you know, I'm not really feeling this dry tone. I'm gonna put a laugh track in there. It's pretty big. That's what she said. That's better. Thrillville off the rails. I do have the original Thrillville for PS2, um, but uh, I like this one better. Okay. It, it, it was pretty fun, but it's kind of boring now. Why don't you say something else other than, you know, I like it, I don't like it. Why don't you tell us why? <sighs> Carnival games. Enough said. New Super Mario Brothers Wii, uh, probably my favorite Wii game. But what'd you think about it? What's cool is they made it red. It's the only red one I've ever seen. I played it like six times, then I just got bored of it. <laughs> Dang, uh, <laughs> smoke detector. <laughs> Why are you going to shake it? Uh, Alright, Awesome Vidmaker, we know you're an amateur and all. The review review gives Awesome Vidmaker two thumbs down. Alright, next up is Karami Head. Okay, um, I just got done watching Pumpkinhead for the first time in years, and I have to say... <coughs> I have to say cough. No, I have to say that um, for a movie with a name like Pumpkinhead, it's actually pretty good. It's one of those movies, like, it, it, it's a very satisfying creature feature. That's really the important part of it. And basically, the plot of the movie goes is that you don't you don't have to tell us the whole plot, dude. Ed Harley, who's basically a hillbilly, he basically lives in the mountainous rural areas of America. I think I'm guessing it's the Appalachians. This is what IMDb is for. He sees a man get killed by a demon that supposedly is brought out for vengeance. Please, you don't have to say the whole entire plot. That cuts many years later. He later he's a widower and has a son of his own. Let's just skip ahead. So what do you think? The difference is, is that the main character is much is a very well written, sympathetic character. Helps he's played by Lance Henriksen, who is awesome, and pretty much everything he's in. The way this movie goes, even though it runs very formulaically, the way it ends is really good. I think. Sure. Anything else? I'm not going to give away the ending, but I'm just going to say, it's a good creature feature. Check it out. I'm sad to say, the review review is also going to have to give you two thumbs down. <coughs> Alright, so we had a bad day, but I'll try again next time. I'm Rudy Reiner, and this has been the Review Review. Review <laughs>